Andreas Raylet is one of the best Ironman athletes of his time, with an impressive record of four podiums at the World Championship in Kona in as many appearances. However, there is no victory to his name yet, and Raylet is chasing every Ironman's biggest dream. For the last four years, I've had unbelievably good races in Hawaii. Maybe those were already the best races of my entire career. But I'm still hoping that I have the potential to win the race one day. Dreams are not illegal. For the 36-year-old, mental strength is paramount for any Ironman. When we met him at a training camp in Mallorca, he spoke about the permanent struggle in long-distance triathlon. The mental strain to really torture yourself is something I had to learn to cope with. One can really evolve through these quote-unquote horrible experiences. Reaching a point where you think you have nothing left in the tank and then still finding the resources to carry on is something that surprises me. It makes me proud of myself. Klagenfurt was Raylet's choice on his way to Kona this year, while Pete Jacobs, Marina von Hunnecke and Sebastian Kienle go to battle at the European Championship. He opted for the charms of Austria. Everybody has praised Klagenfurt. A great atmosphere with weather conditions that are nearly perfect and it's a fast course. A very fast one indeed. It is where Marina von Hunnecke of Belgium established the Ironman world record of 7 hours, 45 minutes and 58 seconds in 2011. Attending the pro briefing two days before the race, Raylet sets the bar high for himself. I don't have an eye on the world record at the moment. I think around eight hours or even under eight hours is necessary to win this race. That is my big goal. After the race briefing, Andreas Raylet went for a short ride on the bike course. For Raylet, Ironman is definitely an addiction. Finishing my first race, I was so fascinated that it has never let me go. The emotions that you live during a competition, the self-affirmation and satisfaction on the finish line is just overwhelming. It's early morning before the big day and Andreas Raylet is taking a swim in the Lent Canal. In only 24 hours, the calm waters of the canal will be transformed into a frenzied washing machine. It is the same procedure that I've followed for a very long time. It's to get a feel for the water, do one to two fast sprints for the body to wake up from the calm phase as training was less in the last week. The body needs to know this is no holiday, there is an upcoming race.